Here we want to factor a cubed b cubed minus 125. And this is a difference of cubes. So we use our formulas for our sum and difference of cubes. Remember, these are the SOAP formulas, which remind us what the signs are. Same, opposite, always positive. So same thing here, same, opposite, always positive. OK, well, let's see. Sometimes it helps to rewrite these a bit. Let's write this as AB quantity cubed minus 5 cubed. Okay, and now it's a little bit easier to see that our AB is our big A and our 5 is our B. Okay, so then we can grab our formula. Right, this is the minus 1, so we'll do this bit here. A minus B, so AB minus 5, A squared, so A squared, B squared, plus AB, so plus 5, little a, little b, plus B squared, 5 squared, which is 25. 25. There we go. So pretty big payoff if you know the formula. Really hard to get if you don't. Let's try another one. Here we have 64m to the 4th plus 27m in cubed. Okay, I can see that we're heading towards a formula here, but we need to remember to factor out the greatest common factor first. So if you ever kind of have, have the feeling that we're, we're going towards a sum or difference of cubes, something's a little off, look for a GCF. We can factor an m out of both of these terms, so let's do that. m, that leaves us with 64m cubed minus 27n cubed. And now we can see that we have the difference of cubes very plainly. Okay, so I'm going to leave this m in front. We have to carry that all the way through. And sometimes it helps to rewrite these. Again, instead of 64m cubed, we can write this as 4m quantity cubed minus 3n quantity cubed. That's completely optional. Just sometimes it helps you to see what's going on with your a's and b's. Okay, so here we go. We'll use this formula here. All right, so m, all right, so 4m minus 3n times, okay, now we square it. a squared is 4m quantity squared, so 16m squared. Make sure you square the whole thing there. So what I did here is I did 4m quantity squared. So you want to square out that whole ordeal there. All right, change the sign. Now we just multiply them together, so 12mn, and always positive for the last one, 9n squared. Again, I squared the entire term there. Okay, there we go. Always check for a greatest common factor for any expression that you're trying to factor, and do that at the beginning of the problem.